Now when we did our other examples, they were already in slope-intercept form for us. So what happens when we look at the linear system like this? x plus 3y equals negative 9 and x minus 3y equals 3. To graph these, we can make input-output tables, but that's not as easy. But remember, one of the skills we've been working on is solving for a variable, is solving for y. So before we solve this system by graphing, let's solve each of these equations for y. And by doing that, that will put it in slope-intercept form, so it's a lot easier to graph. So I'm going to take x plus 3y equals negative 9, and I want to solve for y. So if I'm going to solve for y, I'm going to start by solving for 3y, so I'm going to get rid of the x. Since it's a positive x, I want to combine that with a negative x. My x's cancel, 1x plus negative x is 0x's. Bring down my 3y equals a negative 9 combined with a negative, and I can, you, you can if you want, put 1x. Now, you can't combine these because they're not like terms. Again, we're solving for y, so now we have to get rid of the 3. Since it's 3 times y, we do the inverse, we divide by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1y. Now this 3 is dividing both of these terms, and we want to break it up so we can put it in slope-intercept form. So it's negative 9 divided by 3 plus a negative 1x divided by 3. Simplifying that further, negative 9 divided by 3 is a negative 3, and negative 1 divided by 3 ends up being a repeating decimal, so we'll just leave it as a negative 1 third times x, slope-intercept form in reverse, but still it's okay. Our slope is always the coefficient of x, and whatever is being added is our y-intercept. Let's look at our second equation here and do the same thing. x minus 3y equals 3, or keep, change, change, and change it into a negative 3y. We're solving for y, so we're going to start by getting rid of the x again by subtracting it off of each side. That cancels, and we're left with a negative 3y equals 3 plus a negative 1x. Dividing both sides by a negative 3, Negative 3 divided by negative 3 is 1y. This negative 3 is dividing both of our terms, so we end up with 3 divided by negative 3 plus negative 1x divided by negative 3. Simplifying, 3 divided by negative 3 is a negative 1, plus negative 1 divided by negative 3 is a repeating decimal, so we'll just say it's a positive, because a negative divided by a negative is positive x. So now what we can do is we can graph each of these equations. We did the work up front, but now it should be really easy just to graph them. So looking at our first one here, we have y, put that in blue, y equals negative 3 plus a negative 1 third x. Graphing that, our y-intercept is negative 3, our slope is a negative 1 over 3, so we go down 1, negative 1 over 3, down 1 into the right 3, 1, 2, 3, okay, down 1 over 3. Again, you want to make nice, long, straight lines. Our second equation is negative 1 plus 1 third x y equals negative 1 plus a positive 1 third x. Okay, our y-intercept is the negative 1, right here on our y-axis. We have a positive 1 third for our slope, so I rise 1 and run 3. Rise over run. Oops, I'm sorry, this line should be blue here just so we can see the difference. All right, so now what we're looking for, oops, is we're looking for the solution that makes both equations true. So we look for where the lines intersect, and it happens to be right here at the point negative 3, negative 2. So our solution to this system okay, is the point at which, that, which the lines intersect. So our solution is just a negative 3, negative 2. And we could, if you wanted, plug that back in here. We said our solution was a negative 3, negative 2, x value, y value. 
that would be negative 3 plus 3 times a negative 2. Well, negative 3 plus a negative 2, I'm sorry, negative 3 plus 3 times negative 2 would be negative 6. Negative 3 plus negative 6 is a negative 9. And if we check the second one, erase this off of here. We would substitute negative 3 in for x minus 3 times a negative 2. Keep change change, negative 3 plus negative 3 times negative 2 is a positive 6. So negative 3 plus 6 does equal 3 and we see that this ordered pair right there is a solution to both equations. When solving a linear system when they're not in slope intercept form, use the skill we've been working on and solving for y because it will make your equations easier to graph.